What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and today we are unboxing the sequel to this guy, the original Kindle Fire with this guy, the Amazon Kindle Fire HD. Announced just last week, it is now in our hands to take a look at. Let's go ahead, take a look and compare these two and see if this is a worthwhile purchase for your e-reading, video loving, browsing tablet dollar. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the box of the Amazon Kindle Fire HD. You got a black Amazon logo embossed there, uh, logos on the side, pretty small, especially when you compare it to the box of the original Kindle Fire. Thing was a behemoth. All right, so let's go ahead and dig in. It's available now for either $199 or $249, depending on whether you opt for 16 or 32 gigs. We'll go ahead and open this up, peel off the tab. Always satisfying to open a new piece of tech. And, we are presented with the Kindle Fire HD. Let's go ahead and push it off to the side for just a minute. Smaller, because we don't have any sort of power brick in here. All we have is a micro USB charging and sync cable. Probably have a ton of those laying around. And to wrap up what's in the box, you've got to getting to know your Kindle. All right, so we've gotten to know it. Hi, Kindle. My name is John. We'll go ahead and take off the plastic. I'll run through all the specs in. Just a moment. Look at that. I turned it on just by looking at it. Um, all right, so let's run through the specs here. So it's running a custom Android uh, OS, but it is based on Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, from a dimension standpoint, 7.6 inches by 5.4 inches by a really thin uh, 0.4 inches. And it weighs 13.9 ounces, so it's a pretty light tablet. Uh, so it's called HD for a reason. It's got a 7-inch HD display with a resolution of 1280 by 800, uh, 720p video playback, uh, an IPS polarizing filter, and anti-glare technology. Amazon was really touting the anti-glare-ness uh, of the Kindle Fire HD. And sitting here in a normal room with overhead lighting, it looks like every other tablet I've tested. Uh, same amount of glare. Uh, Battery is going to give you 11 hours, but don't have any hopes of removing it because you're not going to be able to. Uh, processor has been upped on this guy as well. We're looking at a dual core 1.2 gigahertz TI OMAP chip. And if you're into that kind of stuff, it's the 4460. Uh, RAM has been up to one gig storage, as I mentioned, it could be 16 or 32. No camera uh, on the rear, but you do have one on the front for Skype and video calls. Uh, dual band Wi-Fi with MIMO technology, and that camera is 1.3 megapixels. Uh, Bluetooth, it's got it, 4.0. NFC, don't got it. Uh, on the back, Amazon is really touting the Dolby Audio dual speakers here. We'll see how they sound. Uh, you do get a free month of Amazon Prime and all kinds of colorful cases available. So you can see it doesn't matter which way you hold it. Um, before we dig into the OS, let's do a real quick comparison. Let's bring in its older brother, the monolithic slab, the original Kindle Fire. This guy was just a, was a black rectangle without any sort of style uh, to it. You can see the difference on the Kindle Fire HD. We've got tapered edges on the back. There's a bit more design flowing into it. The speakers are a little better placed uh, on the HD. And certainly it's a thinner and lighter tablet despite being better specced. Uh, I would say that the look and feel of this would be more akin to the Nexus 7. Uh, these two look like they could be long lost brothers, especially if you put them next to each other. Uh, you can certainly see the taper design edges of each. The Nexus 7 certainly um, feels a little bit lighter uh, in the hand. All right, so enough of that comparison. Let's go ahead and look at our brand new Kindle Fire. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the operating system on the Kindle Fire HD. And look at that. Since you kicked it to the internet, you've got ads. You can go ahead and opt out for $15. So we've got a letter from our friend Jeff Bezos, founder and CEO, and we've got a very new looking operating system uh, than we saw on the previous generation Kindle Fire, although sort of familiar as well. So you've got a carousel at the top, shop, games, apps, books, music, newsstand, audiobooks, web, photos, docs, and offers. Uh, so this does run Android, uh, but the shop here isn't the typical Android market. Uh, it's run through Amazon's own particular app store. So while there are a lot of apps available, uh, all the apps that you would get in the Android market may not be available. So keep that in mind. Uh, navigation here is done now via three on-screen buttons. Home button sort of oddly placed on the left, a back button, a star button. It's going to pull up a menu that will let you add all your favorite applications there. Here you can see some questions, uh, IMDB, uh, quick tips, and email. Go ahead and exit home. Let's go ahead and take a look at the app store real quickly, give you a quick sense of what's here. Uh, most productivity apps are going to be here, though. You've got uh, Office Suite, email, contacts, of course, Skype. 
uh, so you can go ahead and get your video chat on. Uh, there is a decent amount as well. This is all stuff that's been in the cloud, stuff that's on devices. Uh, and these are all the apps that are on the device. Let's go to the App Store and see what we have. So we've got games and that kind of stuff. Um, I found that most of the apps I use are here, but if you like the kind of person that likes to go through and browse for new and exciting applications, you are going to have a bit of a more limited uh, experience than you'd have on a typical Android market. But there are a decent amount of apps here, uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition, Cribbage. If you like Curious George, he's a naughty little monkey, uh, you can go ahead and play that there as well. Go ahead and go back home. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other stuff here, uh, games. These are all, all your games you're going to live and see what comes preloaded. Uh, if anything, nothing. Just takes you back to the App Store. We'll go home. Uh, books, of course, this is a Kindle, so it's great for reading. Um, this obviously uh, is meant for video consumption, and one of the big deals with the Kindle is that it links into Amazon's pretty tremendous uh, video services. So whether or not you want to watch video from Amazon Prime or download music or movies, this is probably the only ecosystem right now that can really rival um, Apple's iTunes. So if you're looking for an alternative, uh, we want something less expensive, this is going to be a really solid option. Um, so we'll do a full review and walk you through all the hardware and everything, but uh, let's take a look at the device itself and walk you through the software, of course, as well. Uh, so top of the device, really only tell which way is the top or the bottom, but looking at the back and seeing uh, which way the Kindle goes. Um, so we've got on the top, we've got a pretty hard to find and feel power button. It almost feels flush to the device, you got to almost look at it. Uh, we've got a volume toggle up and down. There are those dual Dolby speakers, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the bottom, we've got HDMI out and a micro USB charger and zinking port. Uh, this might look like some sort of stand that pops out, but it does not. We've got a soft touch, evidently fingerprinty uh, rubber feel on the back. Uh, this has been a first look at unboxing at the Amazon Kindle Fire HD. Of course, we'll do a full review of it. Anything you guys want to see or have questions, leave them down below. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.